open face sandwiches. It's a sandwich. You got bread, fillings, meat, cheese, lettuce, whatever the sandwich has. And then on top, I'll let you in on a little secret, another piece of bread. But let's consider that you're going to be insane for a moment because that's the only type of person that would eat this kind of sandwich. That you just take the top piece of bread off. Which, some might argue, that is no longer a sandwich. Why would I eat a more difficult version of a sandwich? Ask yourself the question. Why? why? You took a sandwich, an easy thing to eat. Sometimes maybe a little sloppy with a sloppy joe. You still got the two pieces of bread. Even if you only have that tiny little piece of bread on top and very big bottom piece of bread because you've mismanaged your entire meal. But you've still got that top piece to hold on to. You aren't finger on cheese, finger on meat, finger on sauce kind of person. You still got that soggy little top piece of bread. But just nothing... And then I have to eat this with a fork and knife. You might as well just take the other piece of bread that's on the bottom and just throw it away. Why did we even... And also, when I ordered an open-faced sandwich the other day, they still gave me both pieces of bread. There was one on the bottom, filling, and then they just sliced the top piece of bread in half, switched the sides so they are facing opposite ways and just put them diagonally facing upwards on the sides of the sandwich. What is the point of doing an open face sandwich and getting rid of the top bun if you're still going to give it to me anyway and cut it in half? So you know what I did? I got annoyed by the sandwich. I took the two pieces of bread, put them on the sides they belong on, made a whole circle, and ate it like that. And it was fantastic. Why do open-faced sandwiches exist? Stop.